Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm doing this video to um, do a review on this um, first aid kit by uh, Poor Aid. Do an unboxing and, and show you all the bits and bobs that are inside. There's a hell of a lot in here and it's hard to write about so I thought I'd do a video, show you everything that's in there uh, and then we can um, upload it onto the site. Uh, I, I must point out that the, the poor aid we've we're working with them and they're giving you a 10 percent discount when you use um my uh, code which is my cavi all capitals um again i'll leave a, a, a note in the uh, description below and with the amount of bits in there i'll um i'm going to put all those in there as well or i might list it on the blog actually because there's uh, there's a lot there's a lot of stuff in here so without further ado, let's unpack this and check it out. Okay, as you can see, this is quite, it's quite compact and it comes in this sort of like um, paper sleeve. And these are the list of contents on there. As I say, I'm not gonna read them out because you'll all get bored and leave, but there's so much in here, I'm gonna just put the details on the blog and you can read for yourself or just have a look because I'm going to open it up now and show you all what's in there. So that sleeve is recyclable. It's uh, just cardboard sleeve, so that can go away. Let's pop that out of sight. And this is the actual kit. It's a little, little holdall, which is quite handy to have. Um, and basically, you should have everything to look after your pets for any any type of emergency. So looking in here, you get like this sort of um, sleeve thing. You get a pair of scissors there. Um, I think they're like surgical scissors for that. Like not really surgical scissors for like bandages and things like that because of the angle, just to make it easier. They fit in comfortably there. Um, also, we have this flea comb, which is handy. You get. This is like sort of a crepe um, bandage thing to, you know, it's sort of like uh, keeps the bandage on. A little eye wash there. Um, not entirely sure what that is. I think it's a pill box or something like that. I'll have to have a look. It's, it has got like the first aid cross on there and it's green. It looks like a pill box. Let's open it up and have a look. We ain't gonna fall out, I know that. Yeah, it looks like a pillbox, which is handy. Sort of separate the different tablets in there if you if you require. Um, that is an emergency blanket. Oh, that's good for anyone, human or dog, so or pet, cat, whatever. You could use that for anyone. It has actually got a person on the front, so I think it could be used for anyone really, couldn't it? Okay, that's that. Some little cotton buds. I'm not sure what you use them for, so getting something out of their eyes or, you know, any eventuality there. Uh, a PBT bandage. I'm not sure what PBT stands for. I'm gonna have to have a look at that. There's another PBT bandage. And another one, this is a different size now, that's five centimetres by 4.5 metres and this one's 7.5 centimetres by 4.5. So the same length, just a bit, a bit taller you can see. And same again. And in here, some tweezers with a little safety keep together thing. And wooden tongue depressor i suppose if your dog's choking or something like that you could use that i really need to do a first aid course to be honest with you and then you know i'll be able to explain this lot a bit more this is the same as that but a lot bigger obviously for bigger dogs and got a minute we've got a medium one as well i suppose if it's a little area then you'd use that or a small dog medium same so that's that middle area and this flap covered but 
we've got a lot of stuff in this zip area here yeah. so if you just open that we've got four alcohol pads there for wiping sterile we've got sting relief medicated pad for temporary relief of pain and itching associated with minor burns scrapes and insect bites that's handy i wish we had more of them because especially in the uk we get um nettles and they do sting especially when your dog's sort of like messing about in the uh, in the long grass also uh iodine prep pad we've got four of those a little contents kit that's handy i'll do a scan of that and stick that up on the on the blog um we've got a wound dressing uh, another wound dressing i think there's two more wound dressings yeah and they're all the same size yeah they're all the same size then we've got some massive wound dressings here four of those as well and that's it in there okay so much stuff it's unreal open this up now uh this is that um paper tape you know that you put around um like bandages and things just to keep them down just a little bit but i suppose if you're just keeping a bandage down you don't really need a lot do you this is some sterile eye wash to be used in conjunction with the um the eye wash thing for your eye and this is sort of like um i don't know what this is what would that be called it's like a rubber it's like a rubbery thing i suppose it's to keep things dry so you wrap it round, keep you dry um some little claw clippers there always good to keep and it's got a safety let me take it out it's got a uh a safety mechanism there so you can't accidentally cut yourself and it's also got a cover there so you can cover it over so you don't hurt yourself accidentally let's pop that back there you go some vinyl gloves more vinyl gloves so that's two pairs of vinyl gloves we got some plastic bags i'll say that's for um you know um, any bandages used bandages or anything like that that you want to dispose of carabiner i suppose that's handy for if you're you know you're going to be hands free and clip it to your belt or something you can just put it around there use the carabiner to walk around hands free not not carrying it so that's that's handy or you could put it on a backpack if you're hiking or anything like that just pop that on there I'm not entirely sure what this oh I do this is a I think it's called a stip stip tick pen or something like that basically if you cut yourself you rub that on and it's stop the bleeding and the, the sting from the bleed um, you find these in old barber shops and that um, this is a tick remover so if your dog's gone or cat or any pet really it's for it's for any pets it's not just for dogs if um, they're in the long grass or they're around sheep or anything like that then they're, they're inevitably going to get ticks um, so you just grab the tick with that uh, twist and pull and and the tick comes off so yeah i'd read about that because you do hear horror stories of people breaking the head off a tick and it getting buried inside so i would just double check that one i definitely will double check that uh, a little whistle is this a dog whistle or a... hold on no it's a attract attention whistle get some more sterile eye wash there it's one of those packs where you just snap it off you just there's a, there's a little I don't know if you can see there's like a little break area there where you'd snap it off and then you'd sort of pour it into the eye or in the eye wash 
little syringe i'm assuming that's for just water and if you need to pop it into a wound or anything just to clean it off just just use that syringe it just gives you a bit of guidance onto uh, the wounded area i have no idea what that is what is that Is that even meant to be in there? Oh, oh, is it something to do with pins or something? I'll find out and I'll let you know. Um, some safety pins. I think this is the last. Oh, there's another one of them blue things. It's got to be something. No, hold on. I know what this is. I think there's a needle in there. There looks to be a needle inside there. I bet this, I don't want to break it. I'm going to break it. Yeah, it's a needle. Can you see? It's a needle. So that's just like a safety holder for a needle. I'll have to do that back up after. I'll put it to one side. And the last bit, um, a sterile abdominal pad and there's just one of those in there so let me just get this all tidied up and i'll show you everything in one all laid out in one because it's all a bit of a mess at the moment i'll lay it out and let you see it all together okay by the magic of video i've saved you all the pain of watching me unpack that and because i think i've got ocd tendencies after i have everything perfect apart from this little corner here where I, i've got nothing there so that isn't good but it is a good kit i'm very happy with it it's a good price as well i mean you know i bought one because i, I just want it just in case even if you just use it for the the nail clippers the flea comb i, I mean there's loads you can you could use this for um for yourself for hiking as i say you've got like the emergency blanket thing there you've got all these bandages it, it could be for a for a pet for a human for anyone really just use it for anything it's a really good bit of kit and if you like get lost there's just so much just amazing uh very very good and if you go to mycavy.com um where our blog is we've got these up there I've got to tell you that we have got an affiliate with them so we do get a couple of pennies from them but you get a 10 percent discount as well if you use um the code my cafe in all capitals i'll leave all the details in the description so yeah it's good to just keep in keeping the house maybe get another one keeping the car or you know just use it for hiking excellent bit of kit and i do i do recommend it i bought one myself so excellent okay so there you go that's the uh poor aid um poor poor aid first aid kit for pets i think it's a good buy it's 24.99 let me check yeah 24.99 um obviously based in the uk uh i believe they ship worldwide i, I i'd have to double check that so i will um update it if that's not right um obviously take a bit long uh shipping in the uk um so the the discount code my cafe in capital letters m y c a w v y um that will get you a 10 percent discount of anything anything in store not just this they have got other things they've got collapsible bowls um they've got refill packs for these which are a lot cheaper i think they're about 16 pound or something like that so if you do use all the contents but you like the bag and the bag's still usable you don't need to buy the whole thing again uh, you simply buy the um, the refillable content for about £16 or something like that, which I think is really good. Keep the bag, which is handy anyway, uh, and just fill it full of all your contents again. Um, yeah, just go and check out their website. Uh, I've got a link for it in my recommended products on mycavy.com. I'll leave everything, all the details and everything down in the description, as I've said before. Um, so go and have a look check out 
the blog i'll write up um on the blog a review of it and, and put all the links in there as well so uh if you like this video there's going to be plenty more of um reviews and that recommended products i only recommend products really that are, are by myself and this is one of them one of many actually um y you know what it's like when you've got a dog you just want all the best bits for them so yeah i'll do a few more videos just on recommended products just to show you how they, how they work and if they're any good or not so yeah thanks for watching if you liked it give it a like if uh, you want to subscribe click the subscribe button check out the blog get all the all the ex all the extra bits discounts this that and the other so cheers thanks for watching bye